Welcome back to learning how to play Crusader Kings 3 here down in Georgia. And, well, that's exactly who we're dealing with as well. We are trying to get a prince murdered to break an alliance to then press a claim for a duke on the kingdom of Georgia. But currently we are too weak with our allies to do this. We could call a hunt, which cost, would cost us money. We're not going to do that. We want to concentrate on expanding the realm a little bit. Because dealing with our Muslim neighbors is an appealing idea. But we can only really do it through holy wars. And they are well connected amongst one another. His ally is also our ally. And we want to break their alliance. Ideally, it doesn't get out. That it was us, because that might break the alliance that we have. And we definitely need them to contend with this strength here that we're facing. Obviously, it's uh, counting for the allies' military strength here, which would then be vanished. But uh, still, attacking armies do need to bring a little bit more to the field than anything else. So what else can we do to prepare for war? Uh, the, the most important thing, is honestly, is, is your knights. And for that, we're going to click on these, and we're going to check out... Uh, our highest is 14, 12, 10, 10, 7. That's not ideal. Uh, we want ideally better suited knights there. And we're definitely going to force all the high skilled ones to be knights. How do we get other knights? Well, we could check our um, prison. Which I always have a bit of a difficult find. Because, well, which king goes down to the prison? Okay, very good. So, we are greedy. And uh, there's a chance... He gets killed, but it stresses out. I'm not entirely sure. Why would that make make us sad? I don't know. Um, our agents have scheduled a journey for Prince Leon, which will make them take them through a dark wood. All that is missing is a band of thugs. And oh, right, we have to hire the thugs, so that that makes us sad. But honestly, the gains outweigh everything else. So, the thugs did their job and Prince Leon is no more. As the travel party stopped for camp, the bandits poured out of uh, among the trees, calling for blood and gold. The soldiers fought back, but thankfully it was not enough. Prince Leon was tragically slain in the melee. Con conveniently, most of the bandits were slain in the fighting, and the dead do not speak. No one will ever know of our involvement. So, our problems are solved indeed, because now we can go ahead and get our friend here. And push into this. Now, at, at this very moment, they are still allied. Um, let's check why. It might be because the game needs a moment to update here. Okay, they are no longer allied. So, some numbers are kind of wrong here. He has, she has allies zero. She still has a bunch of troops there. Uh, which she doesn't actually have. Or does she? Well, she does. But calling in our allies will uh, make this a thing. Checking through the claims, our claims are kind of terrible, but this guy. He will become our vassal once we press them. However, we can't afford this because we don't have enough prestige. Yeah. Okay. Uh, quick change of plans. We need something that gives us prestige. So... Um... A hunt will give us prestige, so we'll go on a hunt. Also get rid of some of that stress there. And hope she doesn't build a sensible alliance on the side. Alright, what do we have? Someone is injured. Our mayor Vahan, we will tend to him. We become practiced field surgery, giving us plus learning. But quite honestly, there's no time to lose. The, stage is, uh, the stag is escaping. I'm sorry, Mr. Mayor, but we need the prestige here. That's what we came for. Generally, I like to go more for the role-playing side of things, but, but we have some very specific goals right now, which we're ter walking towards. And there's another 150, so that's... Uh, we're almost there. Let's check another thing that we can do is... We can hold a feast. That doesn't necessarily give us prestige, so we're not going to do that. How are you still so strong, lady? Oh, okay, this suddenly went down, way down? Wasn't it way more? Wasn't it 700 something? Oh, maybe we just... 
really low. But we need to keep in mind that to call our allies in uh, costs us a bunch as well. We'll only call him in and not them. So I hope that works out. I don't know exactly how much it costs us, but it's going to cost us a bunch. And we don't have enough gold. She can probably get some uh, mercenaries. We can't. But we want to go on this quick, which might be a problem. Might turn out to be the problem, quite honestly. So let's get our allies involved. And we'll go call to war. 150, we can afford that. So maybe in the war we can also call the other ally in. We will raise our troops right here, right next to her capital. Which again might be an error. We'll see. And we'll march right straight on it. We'll lead personally. Our ally is joining, which is good. And we have encountered a bunch of her troops being raised there, which might honestly be mercenaries. Looking at the size of these. So checking this. She does not have mercenaries, so we are countering regular troops here. Okay. Our glory is widely known. We're gonna go link up with our ally. Because we wish to prevent them being hurt, killed, maimed, whatever. And we don't want the enemy to link up. Hopefully, our ally will see us coming here. And decide to join the fray. Which she is indeed. So they are in pursuit. We will try and cut the enemy off. This is in hills, not ideal. Right now we would lose a little bit. But uh, hoping that our allies joining in will turn the tide is why we are joining this battle. Uh, right now it's going their way quite quite significantly now, honestly. Uh, so let's hope our ally actually joins and he comes right in the nick of time. And we manage to defeat this not insignificant army with some fairly significant losses. We'll now turn to their capital again and maybe we can get this half army off elsewhere on their own that would be great because we definitely don't want them to link up in full force okay this move will cost us some ah we can't catch him okay we'll we'll stay here and siege this for the moment because this part of the region which we came for. So they get to link up, but they are not going to get all that much in terms of strength to oppose us with our ally. So if we play this right, we might still get this done. We're not going to care where they move at this very moment. We just want to finish this siege. Obviously, again, could be a problem in the end if they manage to get some mercenaries on their side or something. But we do need to take some of what we're contending. Otherwise, getting the war score up is going to be a problem for us. So we will simply break their siege of us. Once we are done here. Our daughter has grown up. And there will be a marriage now. Very good, we want this. Very good. So that's another knight, I think, but I don't want to throw him into the battle because we need the alliance. And if he goes into battle as a knight, we might just lose him. Alright, our ally is following us here into battle. It's not ideal again. Um, because they have more soldiers. Some better stuff. Sakaliba Settlers. From Amir somewhere. Let's see. How do we how do we deal with outsiders? We are strategists, we are a flexible leader, we're cynical, humble, and greedy. Uh no, we We can't take you, and you must go back to your master. I'm not even gonna read this. What exactly your problem is. Okay. 
Uh, sometimes, if you try to move somewhere, you get this. You will lose decisively. Uh, don't go there, is my best suggestion. I'm not entirely sure why we would lose uh, severely. But that it was a said. So we'll play it safe. Wait for them to go around here because they are likely going to go there to try and take their stuff back. Or are they going to attack us or something? Not entirely sure. But as they move around, we will simply go out there, start another siege. Because they're probably going to go here and siege. We do have enough prestige now to call in our other, al other ally. And so we shall. I just want this to be a safe thing. To grow our country. So our main ally is a little bit confused right now on what to do. Yeah, they're trying to siege again. Maybe they're going to siege as well. We'll see. Might not be the worst thing. Oh no, we have a scandalous priest on our hands. Um, yeah, we don't have the prestige to spend right at this moment, so we can't defend them. Um... We are cynical and humble, so condemning him for his transgressions apparently is a problem. When humble, I'm not sure why that might be. Uh, we, we definitely need him on our side, kinda. And... Yeah. We'll, we'll just stay silent about this. this, is our best move here. Okay, our player air and sun has become pensive. More of a thinker than a doer. Learn language scheme power up plus 50%. That's okay. Not something to write home about. But also not too shabby. I hope I'm sieging the, the right thing. Sometimes uh, I get confused and I siege the wrong thing. So let's figure out what is the capital of this thing. Uh, you can't really tell by this. So you have to select the holding. And then you can tell by this little crown here, you want the realm capital, which is this, what's currently highlighted. So you know we take this and then you take the whole region. You can siege the singular ones, but it's not gonna contribute as much as you're gonna want in the end. We're of course waiting for our other ally to arrive, who is currently walking around there and hopefully he doesn't get cut off. If so, we might have to abandon a siege and go help out. But generally, they try to avoid such events as best they can. It was worse once upon a time. Okay, our wife has attained architectural expertise. Very good. She's now a better administrator. Our siege is done. I can't attack him. But we can move in to link up with our allies. I want him to finish, finish this siege, definitely. I don't have a direct control over that. Um, but there we go. So they managed. So now we can go attack there. Our allies will be joining. So eventually we're going to get the upper hand. It might look a bit sketchy for the time being. Especially the joining of the battle. We're losing quite severely there. It's not ideal. Might turn it around with our allies, and it looks like we did. I don't... Honestly, I would love to tell you what you're seeing here. I have no idea. There are some battle phases going on. Um, <laughs> I don't know. There's a late battle phase in which you can retreat, but it's basically a defeat. I really... I, I can't tell you exactly what... What we're seeing here, what you're looking for. What might be interesting. <laughs> Couldn't tell you. Right, so we're at 90%. Uh, if we take the last holding or just hold out a little bit longer, we're going to win this war immediately. So I'm going to opt to attack this last holding. Our allies here are sieging this, which is also probably going to be fine to win this. Um, and we are putting ourselves potentially in a bad position because the enemy is retreating this way. Our allies are down here, so they're not going to reinforce us. And we are attacking here. All right. 
real quick. Um, deal with this. A child of the dynasty. Our granddaughter. Um, very good. Let's make her real good in intrigue. And give her a matrilineal match with someone who's not too shabby. Um, the Apostolic Church. Yeah, let's go. So they are all and I Okay, so right now we see No. Dear game, please don't do this. Um right now we are here and the fourth level is too high for us to do anything. We don't have catapults, I don't think. This is something you will need eventually. They're attacking us, they will likely lose. So I'm gonna decide to take this fight. It's a problem though. Because this is their territory. So while we are standing here, we are not actually the defenders. Uh, we will be the attackers still, I think. So we don't get the defensive of the hills. We don't get the defensive buildings. Uh, they, you know. So so we'll see. We have a better commander. Uh, we have more commander traits. And their ruler is slightly in debt. Which I find interesting because that's not how we started out. She had 200 and something gold. Yes, she bought some mercenaries in between. Alright, so let's see how this battle resolves. We'll just have to wait. Our allies have abandoned their own siege to come to our aid. They might be too late though. So we, we might lose this battle. We'll have to see depending on how long we can hold out. We are an attacker uh, focused leader. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Maybe they will arrive just in time or at least uh, capable of cleaning up. Oh, they arrived just in time. You saw, like, the very last second, basically, did they arrive. And now we're all bunched up here and we're sieging this down. Very good. Sometimes you get these kind of events around your... I'm not sure if this from the, uh, from the siege or if this is uh, out of our tree. I was focused. I think it's the focus. So we're sitting around with Mayor Thoros and Count Taniel discussing strategy and we're just going to decide, okay, what do we do? Um, we can tell, either go one direction or another. If we go both directions, uh, we gain a little bit less opinion from each, but we get both bonuses. Uh, I think we actually do get both bonuses either way, where we go. But, well actually it's not us who gains the bonus, it's them who gains the bonus, so... Checking one of these, we get a bonus as well. Mm, the character is thinking of ways to fortify the position, ensuring defend advantage, control territory advantage. Oh, we'll go for improved offense. Yeah, why not? The mayor has the better idea here. Because we're fighting in uh, enemy territory mostly currently. You gotta read these things. Because sometimes there's like a little word here and there that makes all the difference. So they're going to retreat to their capital. And we will finish up this siege. This is ticking up. This is ticking up because we already control a bunch of the territory this conflict is about. Uh, so this will actually go up more and more. Um, the, the war score on some things is capped. So we can't get any more war score from battles. It's only 50%. The rest we have to get through occupation. This war has been going on for two years. Um, I'm actually quite impressed that no Muslim ruler has decided to jump in on this. To try and take advantage of this uh, Christian war. That is currently ongoing here. There is rebellion over there. That would be a good opportunity to, uh, for us to strike. But as we are already embroiled in conflict here. Yeah, we're just going to finish the siege, win this conflict and then that's that. Getting a huge chunk of Georgia. Right, so we get... Um, oh, right. Now, he, he actually doesn't become our vassal? Huh. Oh, no, he, he does become... Uh, it's, it's a little bit confusing. This... Um, so he becomes independent. All right. He gets the Duchy of Abkhazia and the County of Abkhazia. And then, as he has now been a, become a duke, he becomes our vassal. So the problem here is that we are not a king. Um, so that might actually not work. I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work. Um, 
Or do we become his vassal? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. Now we have Prince Sahak. Who is Koba? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, he becomes independent because he is a duke, we are a duke. He's not our vassal. That that's how I understand it. Oh, back actually, it doesn't become independent. What? He didn't become independent. Uh brr. what? I at least wanted to weaken them. I didn't manage that at all. What did I do? <laughs> okay. Interesting. Uh something weird happened there. I don't know exactly what. Let's go and get some points settled. Right, okay, let's let's try and figure this out. Um, sometimes these things happen. Can we figure this out? So we click here. So this man... We just fought a war for to get this duchy. He became independent. But now he's a vassal again. Nope, no matter how I look at it, does not make a lick of sense for me. None. Does not make any sense whatsoever. What? Okay, why will you not accept? Um, Alright. We'll start and sway this man. No, doesn't work. He's not the being swayed kind of guy. Could give him money, but that doesn't do much. Huh. Okay. Huh. Hmm. Weird. I mean, I would have been fine if he just became independent, right? Then I could have attacked him, tried to press some claims or something. Uh, but... Yeah, no, no idea what that was. No clue. Couldn't tell ya. I am stumped. But that's fine. Sometimes it happens. Sometimes this just is how it goes. Alright, we could get an alliance here. With this daughter on our son and heir. But... She is a bunch older than him, which might not be a problem, quite honestly. So... Yeah, we already have too many alliances. That's generally a problem. That's all the main problem here. All right, so we'll uh, set, sit back and rebuild. We'll, we can check this out here over there. Let's see what we can do. Now, Holy War, definitely not our cup of tea at the moment. We, could, we would get absolutely crushed. Can we get a marriage with you? Yeah, she's not into that. Nope. She really doesn't want that. Oh, well. We'll figure it out eventually. Uh, sad. Could have been something there. But it wasn't. Alright, we can't win that. We can't call anyone in. We don't have enough prestige, so that doesn't matter. We could still swear fealty and then try and do stuff from inside the realm. Um, but... I'd like to try and retain our independence as long as we could. We could try and create a claim here. But honestly, let's uh, see if we can't improve our own holdings a little bit. What do we have? The, the walls of Archabis. Uh The delegation from Archabis. Uh, long meeting, the preparations. The petitioners beg for money to repair the crumbling walls of the holding. Um... Professionally rebuilt walls in county of a uh, camps, which I don't know where it is. I wish the game was a little bit more open. Okay, it's over there. I see how much I have to shuffle around to find that. Why not just give me a little preview window of what it is, or at least tell me if it's mine? I don't know what mine. I don't know. I got no time. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, Oh, that's just gold. We're not... Yeah, fine. Take the money. So we can't build anything. Because we just spent the money elsewhere. 
But we can still look what, what this would bring us. Development growth plus 10%. Yeah, okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. So it feels a little bit like we went to war for nothing. That's a, that's a little bit sad. Let's get our bishop to go and get us a claim out here. And I said I wanted to take this bit to cut them off so less people might try and uh, go in there. All right, our court physician died. We can ransom this count, which we will do. Uh, speaking of which, let's check our prison real quick. That's not... Where is my prison? There. Okay, we have one more dude in here. Ah, oh, no, that's the guy we just ransomed, so that doesn't matter. Uh, let's get a court physician going. Aptitude, poor, 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 terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, they're all pretty bad at it. Our bishop is kind of old. So he's not ideal for it. Our knight... Let's take a daughter, because she likes us, is less likely to kill us. She's not great, but she's also a spy master, so we basically get a hole in one. She's already a powerful agent against us in all style schemes, so that's money well spent. Let's get an antiquarian going and let our courtier do it. Doesn't really matter. We could do a few more things, but I like the money at the moment more than getting a zenishal going and all that kind of stuff. It's not bad. You could do these things, but you know. Maybe a bodyguard could be could be good. Personal champion. Ooh, that looks interesting. Dread decay. Prestige. Potentially on how good they are. Can take my place in duels. There are some good co candidates. Not great candidates, but... Ah, no, it's fine. I'd like to keep the money for myself for now. Alright, she is out of the prison. And we can check what we can build. I think we're going to go with the guilds for more development growth. Because that is eventually one of the more important factors that we got going. Development blocking a whole lot of things and honestly influencing the most things with the greatest effect. Let's see. Is there a decision for us to form a new kingdom? What do we need to do for this? Fame is illustrious. We don't have that. We don't have three or more duchies. And our realm size is nowhere near, so... Oh. I think in the position we're in, eventually we're going to have to conquer something where we are allowed to form a kingdom out of it. It's probably what needs to happen. But we'll see. Anyway... I'll leave it there for today. I hope you learned something. If you have questions, leave them down in the comments. And if not, well, I hope you enjoyed anyway. Leave a like or something. And see you around next time. Until then, have a good time. Bye.